Hey folks, so I'm just going to do this little mini thing on my phone here instead of on my computer screen. Um, just because this came up in music seminar today, I wanted to give you just a little bit of a preview. We were talking a little bit about repertoire selection and I get a lot of um, catalogs for music because I have been teaching music for a long time. But this actually came here at Sanford and you can see that I'm not Dr. Larry Hardin. Um, but, you know, it's, it, it comes to me because once upon a time, um, Dr. Harden used to be the, one of the music directors here. And so, you know, I now get these catalogs, whether it's me or him or whatever. There are still ones that I get. Music publishers find a way to find you. They're like the IRS. They know who you are. But GIA is a publication company that does a lot of music for church. And so I got the um, selected choral music by topic for fall 2021. So it is going to tell you a little bit about like how to search their catalog online because that's how most people are doing stuff. They still do make these little catalogs though um, so that you can sort of read a little bit about them what do we have? What's going on? Did you do? And it tells you about the different choral se series that are in the catalog. So all of these different things, oh, I love Elaine Hagenberg, um, but they're telling you, here's what these series are about. Ooh, tight say. So if you're somebody who might be doing um, a church choir, this would be a great publisher for you to know about because a lot of these um, are going to be useful in church services. Or if you're teaching in a school where it's fine to teach um, sacred music, here you go. So um, some of these you will find a lot of... Um, a lot of composers that maybe they do a lot of composing for a specific um, publishing company uh, because of what they like to write. But these just tell you a little bit about the pricing, how long it is, who wrote it, you know, what's in it, da da da. But then what you can do, and I realize that I'm doing this, you guys, I'm so sorry, is um, that you can go online and all of these things, you know, they, you can listen to them. Um, what do we have? What would I like? Hymnody and hymn related resources, recordings, do, do, do. But you can look by, you know, voicing, by whether or not it has accompaniment, by, you know, how difficult it is, etc. So if I'm looking for an SAB, there we go. And I can listen to or look at a number of these. So a house not made with hands, a lamb goes uncomplaining forth, um, all of these things here. So just to give you an idea about how people find their music nowadays, this is a lot of how people find their music. They um, have a publisher that they know publishes a certain type of music and um, they search on the catalog. So that's one way to do it, but I thought I'd make a little video for y'all.